Hi boys and girls. Um, today we're going to do some reviews and what we've learned about clocks. We've learned about two different types of clocks. Can someone tell me what they are? Here is a picture of one right here. That one is an analog clock. Analog. And I'm noticing that it has a face that is called the clock face. That is the front part that tells us the time. And I'm noticing that it has some hands on it. So the shorter hand is the hour. And the longer hand is the minutes. And so the numbers that are on the clock face tell us the time, how many hours have gone by. So that is the part of the clock. Over here, we have a different kind. What is this? That is a digital clock. So a digital clock can have up to four numbers on it. And right here on the left shows the hour. So that eight is the hour. And then to the right, it shows the minutes. And in the middle, it has these two dots, and that is a colon to separate the hours from the minutes. And we know that there are digital clocks um, everywhere. They're on our computer. They're in lots of different places. Places. I've seen them on microwaves. Sometimes I've even seen them on a stove. So we are going to do some more things with a clock and see how much we know. We're going to practice a couple of these together and then maybe for your independent practice today, your teacher can have you do these by yourself. So we're going to match the clock. Let's think about what we need to do. First of all, these here are analog clocks. I know that this one is right on the hour because the hour hand, the shorter one, is pointing directly at the four. So this one is four o'clock. So I could say four o'clock. Four o'clock. How would that look on the digital clock? Let's drag it. So on the left here, it has the four, which shows the hour, and then the minutes. And it's zero minutes because it's right on the hour. It's four o'clock. So let's do the next one. Where is the hour hand pointing? Is it pointing to the 12? No, that's the minute hand. I know that because it's longer. It is pointing to the 5. And it's directly on the 5. So I know that it is 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock.
So let's look and see which clock matches. That's right, this one right here, because the hour is five, and I know on a digital clock, it starts with the hour. Let's look at the next one. I'm noticing something different on this one. I'm noticing that it's not pointing directly to the hour. Where is it pointing? That's right, it's halfway between one and two. It's half past one. Hmm. So, I know it's right in between one and two. So, it is one thirty. And if I'm looking for my digital clock, it's right here because the hour is one and then the minutes, 30 minutes has passed. The minute hand is on the six. Let's count how many minutes have gone by. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, 30 minutes have gone by. Now, I'm going to skip here over to the next page, get my eraser, and this time I'm going to do two of these together with you boys and girls, and we're going to try to find the clock. This time we have the digital part, but we need to find the analog clock. So let's look at the first digital clock. What does that say? I know the hour is 11 because the hour on a digital clock is first. 11.30. Let's look over here at these analog clocks and if we can see 11.30. What do we know about 1130? We know that 1130, it's half past 11. So the hour hand is going to be between 11 and 12. And I see it right here. It is halfway between 11 and 12. Let's do one more. The next one says, five o'clock. Can we find an analog clock that says five o'clock? Where would the hour hand be pointing? That's right, it would be pointing at the five. And here it is. And when it's o'clock, we know that the minute hand is all the way at the top. Great job today, boys and girls. And you can do these independently on your own to show how much you know. Great job today.